Well, um, good morning everybody. Um, very hopeful that this is actually going to work out quite reasonably well uh, here. Uh, once again, I'm uh, back without notes as it were, but I'm going to discuss uh, a book I've been reading. I read a reasonable amount of this book, in other words, some of it uh, is uh, very, very detailed deep, let's say, and even uh, would describe it uh, as long-winded in some areas. However, there's a, um, a lot to be learnt from it. Uh, a lot is online, of course, about the, the book and, and many other books in relation to uh, Zachariah Sitchin. Now, uh, some people, scientists included, uh, criticise uh, his work or well, as they would, they would anyway. Um, I've got to, I've got to show you that. Um, here we go. It's uh, the Anunnaki Chronicles. By uh, it's edited by Janet Sitchin, his uh, niece. Uh, he passed away in 2010. Um, it is uh, worthwhile having a look at for sure. Um, in my case, I just simply got it from my uh, local uh, library in Ipswich. For those who want it though, it's ISBN 978-1-59143-229-6. That would get it for you, in other words, if you're seeking it. And uh, other local library, as I said, uh, was able to provide that in Ipswich, and no doubt. It will in uh, your local area, I assume. Now, I'll try and uh, keep this as a very brief, <coughs> excuse me, a very brief, brief um, review, a quick discussion, let's say. Some of the things come across as, as if it was a myth, if it was the way it's written, some of it is like uh, uh, you would expect people of the time. We're talking um, Sumerian history here uh, dating up to six about up to four maybe up to six thousand years ago and uh, much of what we see in the Bible by the way is recorded in Sumerian history including the flood now uh, there's a, a, I would suggest a number of things that uh, people on what you could describe as two sides of an argument here would disagree with in a sense and that is those who believe entirely in uh, evolution uh, I believe are wrong and those in, who believe entirely in in creation and and that singular that is to say that there's heaven earth and the rest of the universe is empty are completely wrong and some fundamentalists uh, are very much included in that comment. Uh, a few, and thank goodness there's only a very small number, believe that the world is flat, and we know better than that, of course. So I'm not even bothering to go into that now. It's, uh, the evidence is quite clear. And um, <clears throat> I've discussed this in another video, uh, the word proof. Uh, there is proof of alien uh, life, and proof is just simply overwhelming evidence for something. Now, in the case of something we can look at, I don't know about touch, but you can go to uh, the um, museums uh, and um, <clears throat> temples and so on, excuse me, <clears throat> and see that, uh, that these uh, many hundreds of thousands, oh, I can't believe it. I just can't believe it, folks. Excuse me, I'll have to get back to it. Well, uh, just got a phone call I had to answer, so I'll try and conclude um, this uh, very shortly anyway. But for those people that uh, are interested in the, uh, well, what the Bible mentions, the uh, Ephraim, um, very, very big misunderstanding or misinterpretation and so on in there about uh, 
fallen angels. They're not fallen angels because they they took took women, took wives, um, and those wives had um, had children to these these people. Angels don't have any sex organs, so they're not angels. Uh, so if if they were for some reason, if the uh, Anunnaki, by the way, are very very similar to uh, human beings in appearance. And that's why perhaps in the Bible when it says, let us make man in our image, they, they did something to make us, make us look very similar. Now, some people might scoff at all that, but I, I think if anyone researches properly uh, the subject, and some of the pastors uh, we know do some wonderful uh, research and... and, and, and uh, uh, Sermons on Bible history, for example, if they researched, what does it say, these, uh, these writings by Sitchin, uh, they'd see um, an explanation to some of the things that, been, that they've been talking about. So uh, they talk about, they mention giants. Now, some people scoff at, gi at giants, but uh, it doesn't suit um, evolutionists to hear that there were giants in the earth. Or on the earth in those days, and they said in the Bible, and and later, in other words, uh, if you all heard of uh, Buffalo Bill Cody, uh, he uh, was shown a gigantic thigh bone by an Indi uh, uh, group of Indians, and talked about it in his um, his book. He wrote a book, I think, in 1904. Uh, 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 autobiography in which he describes he had a do there was a doctor amongst his party of people that were out there in the in the west of the United States and they said well this is a gigantic uh, bone a leg bone or a thigh bone as they described it uh, and the Indians described these giants uh, as well they're they're up to around about 12 to 13 feet tall and they had red hair and six fingers and uh, a number of other attributes that were common, in a sense, with uh, American Indians' description of them uh, centuries ago. And where the bones are, we're not quite sure. I understand that some of them have been discovered, but it's hush-hush because they don't fit with our general picture of evolution because they, you don't evolve something that large and then have, have disappear. So they've come about, in other words, and gone again. But anyway, that's getting off the subject. Fraction, but it is related. Uh, so if, if you're interested in that, and uh, and this Sitchin, uh, he translated all the hundreds of thousands, if like uh, half a million or more uh, clay uh, tablets uh, from Samaria. And there are there's a great deal of other evidence put in there, including photos of Mars with uh, what are obviously our structures and including what that well-known face on Mars is not a natural phenomena and he shows structures with straight lines which don't happen in nature. Anyway, there's a great deal more I'm sure about this and you could uh, look at the, uh, uh, the videos that I've provided because I think that's the best way to sort of cover the subject a bit and uh, make people realise what's really been going on with our history of this world um, and he as he says in uh, that the the early well the first the old testament let's say of the bible and the anarchy history were not myths none of them were myths they were true stories of what occurred in our history so i'll leave you with it for a moment and you can comment i'm happy to have um, um polite and civil com uh, questions and comments and what have you on uh, this video. So thanks for viewing.